here's another little update. Uh, yesterday, while I was waiting for the uh, shelter to open at night, a very kind gentleman came and dropped me off some cheese fries with ham and uh, bacon bits over them and some chicken wings. Well, half the chicken wings I could eat. The other half I couldn't because they were too spicy. But it was delicious. It was really delicious. And I'm very thankful to this man. However, Americans, if you want to stop the homeless problem, the answer isn't donating $5, you know, once a month. The answer isn't giving them food, because I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm in a little dinky city. It, it's probably not even a city. You'd probably call it a town. And there's six places I can go to and get three meals a day, four of them hot. There's only two ways to solve this homeless problem. That's either you take a homeless person into your personal home and adopt them as a family member, but we know that's not going to happen. Or you write your politician that represents you in the federal government and you say, let's start taking care of Americans with my tax money. Let's look at this uh, Ukrainian conflict, for example. By the time it's over, the United States is going to spend between $900 billion and $1.1 trillion on the Ukraine. To give every homeless person a moderately priced home in this country would cost $29 billion. So you do the math, what percentage that is. All this money given to a country that, I'm sorry to say, really wasn't democratic, was one of the most corrupt countries in the world, traded with China, helped move drugs from China and Asia into the United States, and uh, for the longest time had their nuclear missiles pointed at me. Now, I know Americans like to root for an underdog, and uh, we like to see our war on TV, which is absolutely disgusting. But the fact of the matter is that the United States has given three times more than all of Europe combined. It could have very easily taken care of the homeless problem or the health care problem for a tenth of what we gave to the Ukraine. It's absolutely disgusting that our tax dollars go all the time to taking care of another country who in probably 20 years is going to hate us for some reason and do something militarily like every other country does. It was a fluke. It was a, a one, one in a thousand what happened in World War II. That Japan and Germany became so successful that they didn't hold any more bitterness to the United States. That's so rare. Let's start spending American money on Americans. The schools get worse every day. The roads get worse every day. But yet we give money away to these countries that really aren't our friends. They just have the same enemies. So, if you want to stop homelessness, 
like I said, take a homeless person into your home or call your federal representation and say, I'm not voting for you. I'm the person you represent and you do what I say. And this can be for any problem, just not homelessness. Thank you.